the iPhone keyboard feels clunky, right? And honestly, it's worse than you think. Ever noticed how the layout randomly changes between apps? Or how adding multiple languages completely shifts the keys around? So now, nothing is where you expect it? Oh, and let's talk about those hidden number and punctuation keys. Why does Apple make us tap extra just to find a comma or numbers? And don't even get me started on autocorrect. Changing words you typed perfectly fine or undoing your manual fixes like it knows better. It's frustrating, but here's the good news. I've got real fixes that'll make typing faster, smoother, and way less annoying. Stick around because you'll be thanking me after this. First, let's take full advantage of the iPhone keyboard's multiple layouts. When typing a web address, hold down the period key to quickly insert .com, .net, .org, and more. This also works in email fields, making it much faster to type out email addresses. It works on other layouts too, but not as conveniently as this one. On other layout, you have to click the numbers first, then you can use the period key. And while we're here, here's a time-saving tip. If you type in multiple languages, you'll love this. Just press and hold a letter to see accent variations. Then slide your finger to select one. It also works for punctuation and currency symbols. For example, hold the question mark to access additional punctuation options. Hold the dollar sign to see other currencies like the euro, pound, or yen. Hold the number zero to type the degree symbol. Apple considers this a keyboard function, but I see it as something even more impressive, the move text feature. Here's how it works. In any text editing app, select the text you want to move. But first, what is the faster text selection method for more control? Double tap a word, it selects just that word. Triple tap a word, it selects the whole paragraph. Let's say you select a paragraph. Touch and hold the selected text until it lifts up. Drag it to another location within the app and drop where you want. If you change your mind, simply lift your finger before dragging or drag the text off the screen to cancel the move. Ever typed a message only for autocorrect to completely change what you meant to say? It happens because your iPhone remembers words you've used before, even the wrong ones. If autocorrect is becoming more of a headache than a help, here's how to reset it and start fresh. Go to Settings, then tap. General, Transfer or Reset iPhone. Tap Reset, then choose Reset Keyboard Dictionary. Enter your passcode to confirm. And just like that, your keyboard is back to factory fresh accuracy. To enable autocorrect again, or turn it off if you prefer, go to Settings, then tap General, followed by Keyboard. Toggle autocorrection on or off depending on your preference. By the way, if you decide to turn autocorrect back on, it'll help catch those pesky typos again. Ever had your keyboard take up half the screen in the Notes app or any other app? You're trying to see the full page, but the keyboard is blocking your view. Here's a quick fix. Swipe down from just above the keyboard and it disappears instantly. Need it back? Tap any text field and it pops right up. This trick works across most apps. Now here's another typing trick that saves even more time. Want to delete an entire paragraph in seconds? Instead of mashing the delete key, just press and hold it. It starts slow, then speeds up, deleting words and full sentences. Or if you want full control, triple tap a word. To select the whole paragraph, then hit delete. Another way, use the undo and redo gestures. Swipe three fingers left to undo. Swipe three fingers right to redo. It even works multiple times in a row. Perfect for quick edits. Speaking of edits, let's make cursor movement easier. Need to move the cursor precisely? Instead of tapping around, turn your keyboard into a trackpad. Press and hold the space bar, then slide your finger to move the cursor anywhere. Now, let's tweak a small setting that could make typing feel smoother. Noticed how your keyboard pops up a preview of each letter you type? If that feels distracting, you can turn it off. Go to Settings, then tap General, followed by Keyboard, Toggle Off, Character Preview. Now, let's talk about switching keyboards faster. Normally, typing numbers or symbols means switching keyboards, but there's a better way. Tap and hold the one, two, three key, then don't release it. Slide to the number or symbol you need, let go, and the keyboard instantly switches back to letters.
No extra taps needed. And if you want to type even faster, try this next trick. If you're not using swipe to type, you're making texting way harder than it needs to be. Instead of tapping each letter, just slide your finger from one letter to the next. Your iPhone will predict the word automatically. It might feel weird at first, but once you get used to it, you'll type so much faster. To enable it, go to Settings. Then tap General, followed by Keyboard. Turn on Slide to Type. Looking for more tips like this? Click one of those amazing videos and keep watching.